Chile is a country known for things such as football, for one. The team qualified to the World Cup. Chile is also remembered and known by its city capital, Santiago. Everything was going fine in the sunny, chili-shaped country known as Chile. The capital of Santiago was recovering from a major recession affecting the whole world. So, the last signs of swine flu in, the, in South America was seen, and the team was preparing for a World Cup this summer. But everything would fall apart on a fateful night, February 27th, 2010, at 6.30am GMT, or 3.30am local time. Following footage is real time video of the earthquake in taking place. So, uh, this is a major tragedy for us. Uh, but the government is working with mobilizing all of its resources, and the president will be uh, addressing the country uh, very shortly uh, to coordinate this uh, debate. It took place at 3.34 a.m. local time, 6.34 a.m. UMT. Chile was left in the ruins in the middle of the By dawn, the devastation was clear.
efforts to carefully heed the instructions of your state and local officials. Once again, we've been reminded of the awful devastation that can come at a moment's notice. We can't control nature, but we can and must be prepared for a disaster when it strikes. In the hours ahead, we'll continue to take every step possible to prepare our shores and protect our citizens. And we will stand with the people of Chile as they recover from this terrible tragedy. Juliet uh, and Kelly with you right now, sir. Uh, uh, we understand that uh, you, of course, are in uh, the warning zone of a tsunami. What is your city doing to uh, prepare for the potential of the tsunami coming ashore? Well, we're closing our beach parks and other facilities, uh, obviously uh, issuing uh, uh, stern warnings to all our residents to evacuate uh, our coastal areas. Uh, we are also in Waikiki, where the bulk of our visitors are. We are evacuating them vertically. That is, we move them up to a uh, third floor or higher of the hotels. We're providing evacuation buses for residents uh, to take them to higher ground to safe shelters. And, you know, this is obviously something that we train and prepare for year-round. And thus far, it seems like uh, our island could be spared. That is, the island of Oahu. However, uh, the forecast at this point called for waves of several feet to hit the big island of Hawaii smaller waves for the island of Maui. Uh, Up and down uh, with the exception of Chile now because the wave has moved on and it's moving on to places uh, uh, like Hawaii. I'm here at State Civil Defense Headquarters, which is up in uh, Diamond Head, if anyone's ever been out here into Honolulu. And you just heard those sirens on the air a moment ago, certainly an unexpected wake-up call, although we are as rehearsed as we can be out here in Hawaii. We have monthly tsunami alerts, uh, much like that as practice, and uh, people know what to do when they hear them. It means to be ready to evacuate. No official evacuations yet, although most people are taking it upon themselves to get themselves out of an in tsunami inundation zone if they are mapped inside of one. We will also have more warnings at the three-hour, two-hour, one-hour, and half-hour uh, intervals as the wave nears the island. Dick Allgaier reporting from the beach at Waikiki. Behind me you can see the beach is completely empty and that is something that's a very odd sight. Something I've only seen a couple of times in the 25 years I've been reporting here. We'll have more on this. Jamie Johnson, filming, right from here with his phone, and Alexander Oxendine. Right out there, filming, filming on his way out. Okay, NewJapan.com, we're over here, you see where you see the helicopter circling the bay.